Hi guys, so in this lesson we're going to practice converting co uh, common fractions to decimal fractions. So here we have two and a quarter. So remember we should always change it to a improper fraction first. So two times four is eight plus one is nine. So nine over four. Our goal is to change this to a ten hundred thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand, a million. The best one or the closest one would be a hundred. So you could multiply this by 25, but what you do to the bottom you must do to the top. And so at the bottom we would have 100, great. At the top I would just use a calculator and that will give you 225. You then look for the decimal, whoops, if you can't find it, it means it's at the back. There it is. And there are two zeros, so you move it twice, one, two, and so your answer is 2, 25. Next one, 3 over 5, so we could easily change that to a 10 by just multiplying by 2, and so that gives you 6 over 10. I can't see the decimal, so that means it's at the end. There's one zero at the bottom, so you're only going to move it once, like that. And so it looks like your answer is just going to be comma six. But when it looks like that, you do want to add a zero in the front just to complete it. There we go. One and a fifth. One and one over five. So you always want to change it to an improper first. So that's five plus one, which is six over five. Ten is good, so you times by two, times by two. That'll give you twelve over ten. So there is only one zero at the bottom, the comma is at the back, so we move it just once, and so your answer is one comma two. Seven and one over twenty. So we change it to an improper first, so seven times twenty is a hundred and forty, plus one is a hundred and forty one over twenty. Now twenty could easily get to a hundred if you multiply by five. And so at the bottom, you're going to have 100. At the top, please use your calculator. You end up with 705. Where's the decimal? If you can't see it, it's at the back. There are two zeros, so we're going to move it twice, 1 and 2. So the answer is going to be 7, 5. The next one, 4 over 8. So, I mean, there are different ways of doing this. You could realize, wait a minute, 4 goes into itself once, and 4 goes into itself into 8 twice, so that's actually just 1 over 2, and so 2 can be changed into 10 by multiplying by 5, and so you get 5 over 10. I will show you the other way if you didn't cancel them, just relax. <laughs> and so 5 over 10, so where's the decimal? I don't see it, which means it's already at the back. There's only one zero at the bottom, so we only move it once, and so the answer is comma 5. However, when it looks empty like that, you add a little zero in the front. So the answer is 0, 0,5. Now, for those of you who did not simplify, absolutely fine. Hopefully you remembered that 8 multiplied by 125 gives you a 1,000. Remember that, guys. I did say you must remember that one. So if you multiply at the top, you end up with 500. If you look at the bottom, you end up with 1,000. So there are three zeros, 1, 2, 3. And so we start up the back and we go 1, 2, 3. And so we end up with comma 500. And then because it's empty in the front, you just add a zero. Now, zero comma 500 is the same as zero comma five. So we got the same answer for both. Okay, let's try another three. So at the first one, it's already got a 10 at the bottom. So the decimal just has to move once. So the decimal's already there. So it moves to the front. So it looks like the answer is comma 402. But then if there's something, if there's nothing in the front of the comma, then you just want to put a zero. Now we've got three zeros, so we're going to move the decimal three places, so it's one, two, three. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have an empty space. Oh, and we must put the comma there. So there's a comma there, then there's an empty space, then there's 7203. Inside that empty space, you can put a zero, and then if the front is also empty, you can put another zero. So the answer is 0, 07203. Let me show you that one again. So you've got 72,03. .03. Let me write this one a little bit bigger. And we're dividing by a thousand. So we've got the, desk, the comma here, and we're going to move it three places. One, two, three. Okay, so if we write that down, there's an empty space, which is this part, then there's a 7203. So inside the empty space, you put a zero, and then if there's nothing in the front, you can also put a zero. So your answer is 0, 007203. For the next one, we have a 10 at the bottom, so that means the decimal must move once, and so it moves once. There we go, 63,8044. 
5. That is your answer. And here's three more. These ones are a little bit weird. So here we're dividing by 10. So you're going to look where the decimal is and you're only going to move it once. And so the answer, and then this is where your comma is. So you're going to have a comma 0, 0, 0, 4, 3. And then if there's nothing in the front, just add a 0. For the next one, the comma is over there, but there are two zeros, so we're going to move it twice, so it's one, two, then put your comma. So we've got comma, then there's an empty space, then there's a three, zero, zero, four, two. Fill up your empty space with a zero, and then if there's nothing in the front, add a zero. So the final answer is zero, comma, zero, three, zero, zero, four, two. Then the last one, we have four zeros, so we're going to move it four places, so one, two, three, four, then remember to put your comma down. And so what we end up with is an empty space, then another empty space, then seven, four, oh, three, two. Inside those empty spaces, put a zero. And then if there's nothing in front of the decimal, put a zero. And so the answer is zero, comma, zero, zero, seven, four, oh, three, two. Thanks for watching this lesson.